If the corals on a reef have died, juvenile corals are needed to repopulate the reef. Corals can reproduce sexually and asexually. Asexual reproduction involves pieces of coral breaking off a colony and growing into a new colony. These new colonies can only be found right around the parent colony. The other is broadcast spawning. Eggs and sperm are released into the water where they develop over weeks and are spread by currents over large distances. Most corals are broadcast spawners. The larvae are poor swimmers and are carried by water currents. It turns out that most larvae seem to settle within tens of kilometers of the parent reef. However, it is possible for them to be carried for hundreds of kilometers and connect distant reefs. Upstream reefs thus maintain the genetic diversity of downstream reefs and are also needed to reseed reefs where coral mortality was high. This larval exchange between reefs is known as connectivity. It is important to identify source reefs for coral larvae when planning resilient marine protected areas. Good substrates are crucial for larval settlement. Dead coral or encrusting coralline algae provides the best substrate. Clean water is also essential for the larvae to remain healthy and survive. Light and salinity levels should be adequate and there should not be too much competition from macroalgae. Even a reef that may appear dead can provide good substrate for future recovery. To manage resilience through connectivity, we need to understand how reefs are being provided with larvae and to protect the source reefs. We also need to make sure that there are good substrates available for the larvae to settle on to start building the road to recovery.